I am creating things that in some way want to slip in between the cracks of knowledge, the cracks of certainty. I'm terrorizing the very concept of meaning, the very concept of truth. For me, that's, that is an interesting thing to do. Because whether the authority is spiritual or whether it's economic or political, I know that I'm fundamentally opposed to it. How long is the microphone? It's long. What will happen here today is basically um, these uh, long-time friends of mine and uh, they, they will help bury me um, and then as soon as I disappear underneath the soil I'll re-emerge again, uh, re again, kind of struggling against the weight of the soil. At the moment, the setup just concerns um, the grave, of course, which is over there, and then uh, we've built some scaffolding just to give the camera some height um, so that it can record the process uh, as unobtrusively as possible. It'll basically be one static shot. It was interesting for me also to say that it shouldn't be some disembodied thing, that the people who bury me are, are people who know who I've had a long time connection with, such as my wife and Sorrel and a whole bunch of them. <laughs> you burnt a little bit. Did Did, didn't anybody put in some sunblock? I'm not sure if you can find it. I'm not sure if you can find it. My body will be covered in gold leaf, which basically refers to two things. On the one hand, it's uh, Joseph Boys, um, and on the other hand, of course, it's, it's the, the reality of gold mining in South Africa, how it gave rise to a city called Johannesburg, which just came from absolutely nowhere. No, he's going to be gold leaf. Not enough metal to protect Recycle it, gold and honey. For me, on a, on a level, the work is very much about um, the history of, of uh, the world in terms of mineral energy. Um, yeah, you know, power of gold and diamonds and, and mining. I mean, it goes much further than that because, of course, uh, there's also the Inca burials, the, yeah, the kind of spiritual level to the whole thing, which for me is actually more important than the rest. I basically coupled those ideas with uh, Kashua Shiraga's in initial works, which he did, I think, in 1956, called Challenging Mud. And uh, in that work, he literally just created a large pile of mud and um, physically lay in it, challenging it. So this image to me was very interesting and also the, phys the physical nature of the work. Art isn't just polite conversations and uh, clean gallery walls and so on, you know, there's a lot of things that happen in the real world of making work and I suspect this is a good exercise for it because uh, when we started it was a very simple idea, uh, just have a grave somewhere and then um, you know, get buried in it. Uh, but of course the practicalities of it is that we've had to postpone for two weekends because uh, because of the weather and then when you eventually arrive here the hole is full of water so everybody's got to clean it up and uh, it's mid-afternoon so people are thirsty and soon enough you know the whole thing starts resembling a picnic. <laughs>
I read yesterday about the Gutai group in, in Japan. And um, when they started in the 50s, Japan had just come out of a, a massive defeat in the World War. And um, basically, the whole of Japanese culture was um, open. So a lot of cultural practitioners like Kasua Shiraga uh, and, a, and a host of other ones uh, found that they had room to experiment, that they had room to kind of move around, um, to redefine what cultural expression means in Japan at that stage. And when I think about um, the 90s in South Africa, the mid-90s, then I feel more or less the same way about it. I look at a lot of those artists um, who've come from that period, uh, and I think that they had a lot of room to move around. They could do experimental works, the kind of works that are context-specific in some way, but also um, fairly cutting edge in terms of the use of technology, uh, conceptual approaches to art and so on. So for me, that basically forms the staple of um, my ideas when it comes to the role of art 